Hello, I'm Professor Sabel from the University of Magdeburg in Germany. Research shows that vision loss not only creates stress by way of anxiety, what will happen to the future, how much can I see or will I go blind, uh, but stress is actually also a cause of vision loss. Now the root of this problem lies in the stress hormones. Stress hormones are released by the brain and also by some bodily organs and these then act kind of like pollution. Stress hormones circulating in the blood system can have a detri detrimental effect on the vascular regulation that is how the blood vessels open up or close. In extreme cases for example, if you hear of the death of a loved, loved ones, it could be that the stress is so high and so immediate, like a big bolus of stress hormone injection into your whole body, that the blood vessels could actually uh, completely close up, which is called a spasm, which deprives nerve cells and other cells of oxygen and of a glucose, both of which are the energizers of the cells in our body. So in the same way the eye can be influenced by such stress hormones, namely that the blood vessels do not properly regulate blood flow that flows into the eye to support the neurons, the nerve cells in the eyes to create visual signals. So by way of continuous exposure of the vascular system of our whole body to stress hormones and elevated and long-lasting levels of stress hormones, this could have a lasting impairment on the regulation of blood flow to the eye and impair visual functions. Now certainly the vascular regulation or the proper blood flow is not the only factor that influences vision loss but it is one of the major factors. How to fix this problem? Well, the easiest way to fix it is to improve blood flow. And how can we do that? You can use various means to enhance blood flow. For example, if we uh, take uh, certain medic medicines, um, such as ginkgo, which is prescribed oftentimes for dementia and uh, age-related brain disorders, Ginkgo can enhance blood flow to the eye and to the rest of the body, which can already be helpful. Another thing you can do is regular exercise. Exercises makes the heart pump and normalizes blood pressure and circulation to the bodily organs and to the eye. So regular sports activities are also a good idea to improve your blood flow. Yet another methodology, which we use in Magdeburg quite successfully with our patients, is that we apply very tiny microcurrents to the eyes. And these currents in, um, have the effect of enlarging the diameter of the blood vessels, called dilation. And by way of improved dilation, the blood vessels can deliver more blood to the nerve cells. It's like a car that wants to that has a motor for to run on the street the car being the nerve cells the car may be functioning in principle but if it doesn't get the gasoline doesn't get the gas then whatever motor you have it will not be useful but once you're able to re-establish the gas flow to the motor or in case of the eye you re-establish blood supply to the eye then the cells who are in a hibernation mode or in a sick sleepy mode can be waken up to be active again because they have enough oxygen, they have enough glucose to function and send signals from the eye all the way to the brain. So whatever you do to enhance blood flow, including relaxation techniques and reducing stress in your life will be helpful to your eyes. There is no risk of trying to improve blood flow, but there is always an opportunity to improve it. Thank you and goodbye.